Well, we are only about two months away from the summer games in Rio. As of right now, we only have one Utah competing in Rio, and that's former Davis Dart and BYU Cougar Jared Ward in the marathon. So we decided to take Jared out to the golf course, check out his golf game, and also find out about his preparations for his big moments in the Olympics. Please welcome to the tee here at Davis Park in your backyard growing up, Davis Dart, three-time state high school track champion, and now you're on your way to Rio for the marathon event in the Summer Games. Jared Ward, everybody. Woohoo! All right, there you go. All right, you're familiar with Davis Park Golf Course. You played a few times, but you ran this course in high school, didn't you? Yeah, we've, uh, we ran golf courses all over the place. In fact, my high school coach would tell me that golf courses were made for running on. People just messed up when they started golfing on them. <laughs> this is the way that I know golf courses. Even when I have a golf, a golf club in hand, this is how golf courses are. You just zigzag across chasing your ball. That's what you do? Yeah. You run a marathon playing 18 holes? Uh, pro at least a marathon. <laughs> Rod, I realized I liked to run early, uh, even in elementary school. I was uh, small, all, all grow I've always been small, and so basketball and football and baseball, those weren't my forte, but then when they run the mile in school, I could, uh, I could do relatively well. So I always liked it, but it probably wasn't until junior year or so in high school that I realized I could be good at it. Lord of Brigham Young. Then you moved on to BYU. Uh huh. And did you realize at that point, you know, I can be pretty good at this now, and I, I got a chance to compete with the elite? Well, sure, but it happens gradually, too. You know, you get, uh, BYU's had a great program, and uh, I was coming onto a team that ended up my sophomore year finishing fourth at Nationals, and so you got to work your, your way up the ranks there, too. And, and so I started at BYU just on the team and, and was fortunate to, to do well in a few races and move my way up. and. Uh, and progress through college there, but it was a good team. We followed by a ward at Brigham Young. When did you decide to move on to the marathon? Uh, well, that happened uh, senior year. Uh, I didn't have cross country eligibility, I just had track. And so coach suggested, uh, well, we're, you're fit. Uh, we're gonna train you through fall anyways. Why don't we have you run a marathon? I think Coach Eystone saw something in the marathon that I hadn't seen yet in myself. Ward has just got a little bit more fluency and speed into his stride. You ran your first marathon in 2013. And then three years later, you qualify for the Olympics. It fit natural for me. It seemed like the longer the distance, the better. And, uh, and I, I took to the roads quickly and to the marathon distance fairly quickly. There's uh, Jared Ward in third place at the moment. You head to Los Angeles in February for the Olympic trials. What was your mindset going in? Did you think, I got this or I'm a long shot? Uh, I really went into that race with the mindset that I'm fit and that I can do this um, and I'm gonna go out and go for it. Uh, but, but the mindset that I could have a great race and still end up out of the top three and, uh, and we were gonna be okay with that if that happened, but, but we were certainly racing for a spot. And I wouldn't wanna be in Ward's shoes here. At least he's got them in sight. When did you realize in the Olympic trial race that you said, I've got a shot to make the Olympic team? When uh, the pack of three uh, pulled away at about 16 mile in and left me kind of a lone man fourth, I was certainly wondering if, uh, if, if I was gonna have it in me over the last 10 miles and then uh, passed uh, Tyler with, with six miles to go and moved into that third spot and then it was, uh, I think I can do this, I just gotta get to the finish line. <laughs> And finishing third and making his first Olympic team will be Jared Ward. So he crossed the finish line. That had to be one of the most magical moments that you've ever had. It was a pretty euphoric feeling. And then shortly after by my wife uh, with a big hug and a kiss and her saying, you did it, you know, and uh, those, those memories, my mom shortly after, a big, big teary hug from my mom and my dad and then Coach Eyestone running in. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, those memories are ingrained. So now you got two months to train for Rio. And you do it where you grew up training, right here in Davis County. I've been running on this road for years. Back in high school, coach would send us up here. And uh, it's a favorite run anytime we're in Kaysville, either at my parents' or my in-laws. You gotta go a nice little uphill, get on this mountain road, and then take the downhill. I think about my running and upcoming races and upcoming workouts. But I also think about 
my wife and kids and how beautiful the mountains are. Uh, it's nice think time. Do you ever do play-by-play -play of what it's going to be like in the Olympics and say, Jared Ward out in front, it's his to win it. <laughs> oh man, I, yeah, I, I play by play big moments like that all the time. Uh, it's, uh, it's fun and it's motivating to dream. And uh, that's a fun way to get through some of these runs. And do you always cross the finish line first? Oh man, on these runs I always do. You know, Rod, I'm certainly happy to be there um, and feel very fortunate to be representing America but, uh, and pulling on that jersey. But with that comes, um, to me, a feeling of obligation to go out there and give it my all. Um, they'll be the world's best marathoners in this race. Uh, and, uh, and I've got a, a, a whopping four marathons under my belt. That's it? But, uh, but I am, I'm going to go out there and uh, we're going to train hard and we're going to train smart and I'm going to put myself in the best position and we'll race hard and see what happens. Wow, you've got that seven iron down. I guess. Golf clap for the Olympian. <laughs> Every serious runner dreams about running in the Olympics and crossing that finish line and breaking the tape and the medal ceremony and yeah. Drano, there we go. Jared, it has been awesome to hang out with you. Hey, Congratulations, so good luck. We're all rooting for you, proud, proud of you, and we'll be watching on Channel 5 when you cross that finish line and take that medal. Is it still a dream? Yeah, it is. It is. And, uh, and I don't think that I'll believe it's a reality until I'm, I'm back and have a, have a picture to prove it. Maybe a ring. And a medal. Maybe a medal. Gold. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like the gold. Jared competed in a 10K race in Colorado this weekend. He'll only compete in one more 10K race between now and the Summer Olympics in Rio. So, Jared, wishing you all the best of luck in the Summer Olympics.